Hey everyone, I'm Mike Moon. I've had the honor of serving in the Missouri Senate since 2021. For those who live in Christian County and are new to the 29th Senatorial District because of last year's redistricting process, I look forward to getting acquainted with you. Over the past few months, I've had the opportunity to meet a number of folks in the county, but if we've not met yet, I hope to meet you soon. Please let me know how I can best represent you in the legislature. Although I've recorded videos of my time in the Senate before, I thought I'd try something new in 2023 and post a video recap of some of the current legislative happenings in Jefferson City. This time, though, I have some professional help. We've just begun floor debates, and committee hearings are in full swing. If you're new to the legislative process, or it's been a while since you've had civics class, hearings give citizens an opportunity to testify, share personal stories, and voice their opinions on a particular bill. Hearings are also an avenue for senators who serve on the committee to ask the bill sponsor and witnesses questions. I had the chance to do just that recently and ask a few questions during the Senate Health and Welfare Committee's hearing on Senate Bill 45. This bill extends Medicaid coverage to postpartum women from 60 days following the end of pregnancy to one full year. I firmly believe that helping people is the right thing to do, but in this bill, the words following the end of pregnancy caused me a bit of concern. As a lifelong advocate for the unborn, I want to make certain the state is not and will not care for women whose end of pregnancy was an abortion. It's imperative that the bill's language be amended to say, following the birth of her child. While I'm concerned about the price tag of this bill, I seriously doubt that anyone can find a provision in the U.S. Constitution which authorizes spending on health care. Nonetheless, here we are. According to the bill's sponsor, Federal CARES Act funding will cover the cost of this extension for five years. I'm reluctant to endorse any legislation that could potentially become a burden on the state. While the Additional cost of extending Medicaid may not come from the state funds. Federal funding is still your tax dollars. In addition, the majority party does not authorize the expansion of Medicaid. I cannot, with a clear conscience, support a program that could cost hardworking Missouri taxpayers more money. However, if cuts in the Medicaid program could be made in order to ensure the care of postpartum women was revenue neutral, I might be more apt to support the program. So, at this time, since the bill in its current form may allow a woman to abort her child and still receive a full year of health care at the expense of taxpayers, I'm not willing to sign a blank check to extend Medicaid without some quantifiable evidence that longer postpartum coverage equals better health outcomes, even if it were supported by the U.S. Constitution. Until I have some guarantees about the language, cost, and benefits of this proposal, I'll vote no on SB 45. I'd like to close with a verse from Proverbs that perfectly correlates with my thought process on this bill and drives my decision-making on legislation in general. It says this, For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Until next time, I'm Mike Moon.